Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for basically a discussion video about three individuals um, that I want to talk about. One of them I know is a scumbag. The other one is defending a scumbag. And the last one is still defending it, but having his opinions about it. So we're going to talk about uh, basically the dilemma of Ronnie Radke, Alex Terrible, and Rockfeed. So, basically, it's kind of a let's chat kind of discussion about this uh, topic. So, it's entertainment-wise, but still, I'm going to discuss what I am going to be talking about in this special video and let you know my thoughts on what I think of these three individuals. So, let's dive into this discussion video. Now, basically, I will start with Alex Terrible. So, he, Ronnie Radke is going to be the next one, I'll tell you that. So, the last one will be Rockfeed that I'll talk about. So, Alex Terrible, from what I gathered, is defending Ronnie Radke. I'm like, um, you know what he's done, right? Like, I'm, I mean, it's your choice. But you're kind of getting some flack on your back. So my advice is kind of stay out of the drama shit between Ronnie Radke and how people are viewing him. I mean, sure, they're falling in reverse is very big now. I will give him that. But here is my underlying issue. I can't separate the art from the artist. With Falling in Reverse and Ronnie Radke. If Ronnie Radke wasn't a part of the band. And they had a new singer. Then yeah I'd be following them. But other than that. Ronnie Radke is. Has a big ego. He's an asshole. And. He's done so much fucked up shit. And prison made him. A fucked up individual. So. It changed his life. For the worst. So, uh, he's done so much shit, and I just can't support someone who makes fun of, who is homophobic, who's transphobic, who's basically cyberbullying other people that have their opinions about him, and it's like, dude, get the fucking hint. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Like, seriously. I mean... The only reason why I'm saying this now is because I'm calling this mofo out, Ronnie Radke. So, bitch, just stop the shit. Focus on your own music, bettering yourself, and getting fucking help. Honestly, the best thing to do is go back to fucking prison, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> Still, um... Alex Terrible is kind of defending and trying to debunk in a way. And I, I understood what he was coming across. And I respect that he was saying how he felt about certain social media platforms can basically have certain toxic uh, people on it, and yes, that is true, social media can be very toxic lately, but keep in mind, the narrative does not change about Ronnie Radke, he tries to be in denial about this stuff, and the in denial shit is not working, it's a fucking excuse from him, he's playing victim, he's thinking, oh, I can do no wrong, oh, I'm Basically, it's innocent until proven guilty. Yes, that's true. But, look at the Wikipedia pages. Really look at what this man has said on his Twitter. On, basically, all this bullshit that he's been saying. About transphobic people. He's made fun of fat people. He's made fun of disabled people. And... People with, uh, like, disformed people in a way. And it's fucked up what he's doing. It's like, dude, 
you're an asshole and your behavior is intolerable so now Alex terrible I will say I don't hate the guy I just kind of am not seeing why he's saying the certain thing about oh you can't make up false shit about Ronnie Radke I'm like how is it false shit when it's fucking true it's fucking true so don't don't try to play that card so I don't hate you dude but you're kind of poking at the bear a little too much like you're kind of pushing it a little too much to the point where I'm probably gonna dislike you now so I don't hate you and I don't know you personally I don't know if I want to know you personally. I mean, you seem like a cool dude and down to earth, but I just think personally, in my opinion, even if we met face to face, I don't know. It's just, even if Ronnie Radke's there with you meeting face to face with each other, I'll be like, I'm out. I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm like, I'm walking away. So, now to Ronnie Radke. Dude, Stop talking your bullshit. You're just talking a lot of mad shit. So, yap, yap, yap. That's all you fucking do. And what's so pathetic of you is every time a single drops from you, and keep in mind, the song All My Life with Jelly Roll was fucking garbage. Jelly Roll couldn't even save it, and I think he tried with that track, but... I wouldn't say Jelly Roll was all that great in the song, but it's fine. Still, I think uh, Balling in Reverse is heading downhill, is going down a mainstream spiral. They're kind of spiraling out of control to the point where they're collapsing the band. They are falling in reverse, is what you're saying. <laughs> so, this is what the thing is. So, they're kind of flipping sideways, going reverse all the way around, and basically fucking up every time. So, Ronnie Rack, he's a big fuck up. He never learns from his mistakes. He never learns from the shit he's done. And that's why he's known as... Pretty much the villain in real life. So he's playing the victim card. He's basically thinking he can do no wrong on anything. And he says, oh, I have never done this stuff. I'm like, dude, the proof is right fucking there. So don't try to play that shit. Because that ain't going to work. Because, dude, I will... Basically, screenshot everything that you fucking say. And I have been doing that lately. So, keep in mind. Um, just, if you're going to talk shit about someone, expect the same thing to come back to you tenfold. So, now to the last person, Rockfeed. I don't hate this guy, but I'm getting to the point where I'm about ready to unsubscribe to him. I mean, he, he has good music news from time to time, but he's defending Roddy Radke too much. I'm like, who fucking cares? And you're laughing at the shit he says and says, I'm a superstar. I'm like, who fucking cares? You're a clown is what you are. And that rhymed <laughs> in a way. But still, um, Rockfeed just disgust me some of the time. Some of the things he says uh, from time to time, I'm just like, dude, you're very... Uh, you just don't seem to have an opinion about things. I will... I do feel bad for you with the M Shadows thing. Because that guy's a fucking asshole. Um... Because I found out that M. Shadows is not really a good guy. I thought he was a good guy for a time. But he turned out to be a fucking douche. Later on after years down the road. And their last album Life is But a Dream. Was a big decline in their music career. 
meaning it sucked. So, uh, it was a big flop and a big mess. And this new Falling in Reverse album is gonna be shit. Because all the singles I've heard... I mean, Popular Monster was fine. Uh, Last Resort was fine. Uh, Watch the World Burn was meh. And Voices in My Head was not really that great. Uh, I've kind of not really felt for Voices in My Head too much. It's like, dude, this song is kind of pathetic. So, basically, it was like a 2.5 out of 5 for me for that track. But, other than that, Rockfeed is kind of supporting Ronnie Radke's decision making. And I'm like, dude, he's not that good of a role model to look up to. And the dude's 41, or almost 41 actually, this year he will be. He's a man-child. He basically tries to start a lot of shit with people. He throws mic stands and the crowd, he loses his fucking temper, and anytime someone has an opinion about him, he will come up to your face and try to beat the living shit out of you. So basically, the dude has some serious anger problems, and when someone calls him out on his bullshit, he gets butt hurt about it. So I'm like, boo fucking who? Cry me a river, motherfucker. So. Ronnie Radke, you ain't the center of the fucking universe. So, the world does not revolve around you. So, get that through your thick fucking skull. So, with that being said, I, I just don't know if I want to keep supporting Rockfeed. I like some of the music news that he mentions from time to time, but he's kind of drifting to the mainstream stuff where I'm like, dude... No one fucking cares. So, basically, just be very careful who you're surrounding yourself with. And if you want to support Ronnie Radke, that is your decision. If Alex Terrible wants to support Ronnie Radke, that's his decision. But I don't like their decision. I will tell you that. But, hey, that's all them. If you want to support someone who basically is a child fucker and basically uh, in the whole Drug and Me Is You record talks about pedophilic shit, so it's really fucking gross. That album was fucking gross. So listen to that album. Listen to some of the other tracks from Falling in Reverse. Uh, the Bad Girls Club was... <sighs> terrible. Um, honestly, Drug and Me Is You was the worst fucking record from Ronnie Radke. And it, it definitely depicts how his behavior and pedophilic behavior was, in a way. It, it was fucking gross. So, it was like, eh, in a way. So, pretty much... I just think Ronnie Rash, he's not a good person. He he has proven to the whole world. And if people want to still support him, more power to you. That is your choice. I am not trying to change people's opinions. I am just pointing out what I know. What I personally believe. And if you don't like it, then why'd you watch the video? That is all I'm going to say to this regard. I will say this. If I see more stuff about Ronnie Radke, oh, they're getting big, which that's true. They are getting pretty big in the music scene. But I will say this. They ain't shit to me. So, basically, I've heard better bands than Falling in Reverse. I would basically throw them in the trash can, all their fucking CDs, and burn it in a pyre. Because I don't uh, fucking care for their albums. And honestly, I don't care to pre-order the new popular Monster record. Fuck that record. It is going to suck big time. So, with that being said, I know this was a lengthy video. I just had to rant about stuff I wanted to talk about. So, I'll decide what I want to title this video. 
but honestly, Alex Terrible needs to be mindful of the decisions he makes and who he's backing as a individual, which is Ronnie Radke. He needs to be very mindful of what is going on in this whole Ronnie Radke matter. But, hey, if you want to be friends with the dude, that's your choice. I mean, if things were different and he wasn't the so-called playing the, what is it, enemy mentality in a way, then I wouldn't basically have any grudges against him, and I'd probably uh, respect the guy more. But I will say this, Ronnie Radke sucks. He is a terrible person. He has never once apologized. Well, he did apologize for a few things. I will give him credit on that. But I won't tolerate the behavior from this man. So, grow the fuck up, Ronnie Radke. You're 40 fucking years old. Get your life in order. And really think about what you decide to do. What you basically, the choices you make that impacts your life. And where your life's gonna go. So, you can still play the enemy mentality card in a way. And victim card your way through life in a way. But it's never gonna change the fact that you are scum. And you will still remain scum. And Rockfeed, if you wanna keep supporting Ronnie Radke, fine by me. I don't fucking care. But keep in mind, I might unsubscribe to your channel. If I keep seeing more content about Ronnie Radke, I'm like, I don't fucking care anymore. It's getting to a point where I'm getting a little pissed. So, basically, fuck Ronnie Radke. I wouldn't say fuck Alex Terrible yet. This is kind of a warning towards him. Uh, basically, I'm giving him a chance. I don't know the guy. I don't know him personally. All I know is that he's defending someone, Ronnie Radke, so is Rockfeed, and I'm like, you're defending someone who's a piece of crap. So, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this lengthy video tonight. Uh, I will have more content coming this weekend and when I get a chance to, but until then, you have a good night. Stay safe, stay cool, because it's been pretty hot lately. Um, because the summertime of vastly approaching with officially summer coming next Friday, June 21st, the start of summer will officially be then. But still, uh, definitely stay cool because it's really hot lately with how it, the heat index has been during the day. And I'll see you in my next review. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the yawning. Um, thanks for watching.